Hello and welcome to our today's video where we will discuss in detail about one of the most sought after video in this channel and that is about S-Car. We will first know about the S-Car in general and then see how can we make an S-Car through Microsoft project. So let's start. S-Car is a tool in project management which is basically a graph that plots the consumption of a resource over time. Everybody of you know that throughout a project life cycle, the consumption of a resource is never a constant. It varies depending on the plan and that variation when plotted against the time provides you an S-curve. So in case of an S-curve, the x-axis will always be time. The unit of the time can be anything like year, month, week or day. In general for construction projects, the preferred unit is month. For construction projects, we plot the resource consumption or cost or revenue projection with the time of unit being month. For our S-curve also in general the preferred unit is month although it can be week or even day if a micro level planning is done. And the y-axis can be the cost or quantity of any resource or the revenue projection. You can note one thing revenue projection for a contractor company is a cost for the client. Your revenue projection is a kind of a cost. So this can be anything like cost of material, cost of labor, cost of the project, manpower requirement or concrete quantity or any other major items quantity plotted against time can provide you an S-curve. So this is basically the components of S-curve. Towards the x-axis the time is plotted and towards the y-axis the resource of progress is plotted. So this is a sample S-curve where this is the initial phase where the curve is almost horizontal as during the project initiation less resources are consumed. Then comes the actual project execution phase when the project progress starts the curve becomes steeper as resource consumption starts and increases with time. And this is the time when the project approaches towards the completion. The curve is almost flat in this phase as resource consumption is reduced and the project gradually reaches completion. These are the different components of an S-curve. S-curve ideally looks like something like this where the x-axis is time and the y-axis is resource. It can be looking like this also when the resources are backloaded. That is in the initial phase of the project less resource is being consumed and when the time is approaching towards the completion of the project the resource consumption increases. This type of S-curves are called backloaded S-curve. There are front-loaded S-curves also. The initially required resources is more and it reduces with time when the project approaches the completion of it. Well, this is somewhat is a realistic S-curve because during a project life cycle it is never expected that the resource consumption will be constant with time and there can be multiple phases when the resource consumption is less like during the festivals or during the rainy season. So if a rainy season falls within the project duration, for example, here for the months of May, June and July, you see the consumption of resources is very less. It is almost flattened. After that, the project will gear up and uh, more resources will start consuming and there will be a steeper curve. So this is a kind of a realistic S-curve, you can say. Depending on the type of the project and planning of the organization and many other factors, the S-curve of your project can take any of these shapes or can take one of its own. Now when you plot the plan and prepare one S-curve, this is the blue one, the planned cost and then when the project starts actually you enter the actual costs cumulative month over month and you get the actual cost curve. So you can track your progress with respect to the planned cost and also prepare the projection of the remaining months. So your planned versus actual S-curve will look something like this. With the help of the S-curve you can track whether your project is having the right progress as required as per your plan or you need to expedite it by some means. The S-curve serves a project manager with many things like tracking the progress and identifying the deviations as we just seen. Also you can optimize your resource usage because if you see as per your plan 
somewhere the resource consumption is very much high and a steeper curve is there you can rationalize the resource usage also you can forecast your budget with the help of a s curve and you can manage your risk because you can detect warnings at an early stage now that we have a in-depth knowledge about s curve in general now we will see how to prepare s curve from ms project we have a schedule of a one story building from where we will see the process of preparing the s curve now this s curve can be for the planned cost of the items which is the cost for the contractors or the contractor sale rate of the items which is the cost for the clients in this schedule we have prepared the resource sheet also we will see here is the resource sheet and we have put all the item rates for each resources so here you can see all our resources are ready and the schedule is also ready if you want to see the process of preparing this schedule and assigning resources click link on the top right corner and watch the boq uploading video in this playlist so now let's see how to get the s curve from this schedule we will show you two processes of uh, preparing an s curve from ms project schedule first you can go to resource usage form click on it and you can see the month wise distribution of all the resources that you have assigned here it is our schedule is from january 2024 to may 2024 so here you can see all the resources quantity has been distributed as per your schedule month wise copy all the resources press ctrl c and create a format like this in excel paste all the resources now you can go back to the ms project schedule and copy all the rates and paste in excel sheet again you go back there and from the resource sheet you can copy the units and you can paste it here we can delete this header line and we have the complete list of the resources along with their unit and cost now we need the month wise distri distribution quantity so we go back to our ms project schedule then go to resource usage and then copy it from top to bottom press ctrl c come back here in the excel sheet the first month was january 2024 so we will place the cursor on january 2024 and press ctrl v so this is the complete quantity distribution that we have got here at the bottom we have already placed the formula of some product that is the month wise quantity multiplied with their unit cost will be here and the value is divided by 10 to the power 7 so the result will be given in crores of rupees we can have the total and it is showing 3.8 crores to be precise it is 3 crore 83 lakh 70 thousand we can check it from our ms project schedule we go back there and then insert one column of cost and from here we can see that it is 3 crore 83 lakh 69,518. It is matching with the excel sheet and uh, we can say that the copy procedure is okay. Put the scope quantity here also with a simple formula. So what we can do to get the S curve is to create a table month wise revenue and link the planned revenue from here. Okay. And here uh, the formula is given for getting the cumulative month wise value. You can check it. This is nothing but basically the cumulative of the first month plus the value of the second month. So accordingly, this is dragged till June 2024. And I'm deleting all the remaining values. So what we can do is to select these two columns and go to insert then go to scatter chart click on this so here we are getting cumulative planned revenue s curve in the initial phase we have planned the concrete as you can see from here this is the most high value item concrete and reinforcement steel so all these things are planned in the first two months january and february if you plan them by distributing the work in first three or four months then you will get a better shape of the s curve it is okay for the example now let us see how we can do it from ms project itself to get the sk from the ms project you need to first set the baseline you need to go to the project tab and then set a baseline from here click on set baseline 
here no baseline is set in this project earlier so we can have the baseline from here it will be applicable for the entire project and we click ok so now one baseline is set and you have to keep the status date uh, we are keeping it as today's date clicking on ok and then update the project ok and after this we need to go to the report tab click on a new report then click on chart the dialog box will prompt to provide a name for the report let us give the name as S curve and click on ok so now here one chart is there but no data or diagram showing so what we will do the first job will be to change the category select category option is there which is showing the name to get the s curve over time as we have already seen that the x axis will be always time so we will select time from this drop down and what we see a change is there the x axis is now filled with the dates and next click on the cost and then these options will be there now we have only planned for the project and not entered any actual cost in the schedule so we have planned cost which is as per ms project the cost of the project to get the s curve you have to get the cumulative cost so we will click on the cumulative cost some changes in the diagram and columns are now showing to change this to a curve we need to right click on the chart change chart type and go to this line option click on ok so this is the cumulative cost there are other two options are also showing actual work and work but we have not entered the data of the actual work if we enter the actual work then definitely there those uh, curves will be shown in this diagram so from here we can check off the actual work and work so this is the S curve for this project you see there is a S like shape but as we have already pointed out depending on the planning the shape of the S curve is decided and it is not an ideal S all the time you can copy this S curve from here and go to Excel and paste it there and you can use this in any of your project reports if you enter the actual cost of the tasks you can also track your project cost with respect to the initial planning or the baseline S curve and have actual S curve as well if you have any query in the topics that we have discussed in this video let us know in the comment box thanks for watching